We'll consider now a demonstration that you often see in a physics class, but it's great on the playground. Imagine that ba a basketball and a tennis ball are being dropped together to the floor, and we ask what happens after the balls strike the floor. In one case, we can ask whether the two balls just stick together, or whether the two balls just rise up from the floor at the same speed, having bounced off, or do they rise up at different speeds, such that the basketball has a greater speed than the tennis ball, or the reverse, the tennis ball has a greater speed than the basketball, or does it actually depend upon the height from which the balls are dropped? To see the answer, let's actually see what happens when you try this experiment. Watch this amazing trick. Put the tennis ball on the basketball and then drop. Whoa! The answer clearly is the tennis ball has a much greater velocity coming off the ground than the basketball. To understand why this is so, we should return to our simple formulae for the velocities of our particles after a, an elastic collision, because this is an example where the, the balls behave like they're rather elastic. So why did this happen? There are, in a sense, really two collisions going on, and this must be kept in mind. The first collision includes the basketball hitting the ground, or the earth, and so the earth is the second object here being involved in a collision with the basketball. In this case, the earth is very heavy, and the basketball is very light. If we think back to our formulae for a two-particle system after an elastic collision, if the basketball is the projectile and the earth is the initially stationary target, then the basketball should come up off the ground with a speed v prime equal to minus its original speed. In other words, the basketball rebounds exactly off the ground with the same speed but in a different direction as it was before the collision with the Earth. The second collision occurs with, with the rising basketball and the still falling tennis ball. The tennis ball is relatively light compared to the relatively heavy basketball. Both the tennis ball and the basketball will be moving with approximately the same speed at the time they're about to collide. The tennis ball will be falling with the same speed as the basketball was before hitting the ground because all objects accelerate downward by the same amount in the field of gravity. However, now the basketball is heading up and the tennis ball is heading down. In this case, the tennis ball should recoil off the ground with a, sp a speed approximately equal to twice the basketball speed, and the basketball should continue rising upward, essentially unperturbed. And so the velocity of the tennis ball will be very large compared to the velocity of the basketball.